Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to be doing a quick video on the benchmarks on the 2015 MacBook Pro 15-inch Retina. Benchmarking the entry-level 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina. Now, this MacBook Pro starts at $2,000. It sports the 2.2 gigahertz i7 processor that can turbo boost up to 3.4 gigahertz. It has 16 gigs of RAM, and it has a 256 gigabyte SSD hard drive. So the first test we're gonna to run today is gonna to be the Geekbench 3 benchmark test. Now Geekbench is pretty much a universal test used by our viewers all over the world to benchmark computers, tablets, and phones. Uh, when I ran this test, I am running the 32-bit version. There is a 64-bit version out there, but it does cost 10 bucks, and the 32-bit version is free. Uh, I did run this test after I restarted the computer just to clear out all the memory. I ran the test three times back to back, so you'll see the differences in the scores. Um, for the first test for the single core, I was able to get 3,125. For the multi-core score, I was able to get 11,761. The second time I ran the test, I was able to get 3,111. And the multi-core, I was able to get 11,728. And the third and final time I ran this test, I was able to get 3,101 and 11,719. So pretty close, pretty consistent. Uh, the one thing I will mention is that by the third time I ran the test, I could hear the fans kick on just because this is a very taxing test on the CPU and the, the motherboard. The test we're gonna run today is going to be the Heaven benchmark test. Now this is a very CPU intensive test. Uh, what it does is it plays different scenes at uh, different frames per second to really push the CPU to the limits. Um, as you guys can hear, the fan has kicked on to cool off the motherboard. Um, this is probably one of the most graphic intense tests out there. Um, it's a great test to test your computer. Now here are the results that just popped up. Um, we have 30.6 frames per second, and a score of 770. Now at a minimum, we were able to get 11.9, and at the max, we were able to get 54.2. So really impressive, um, even though this is the entry level 15 inch, we're still getting a quad core i7 processor. So great performance out there, and I am really impressed with this one. Uh, just to let you guys note, I did run this test four different times, uh, just to make sure I was getting a consistent score, and this is pretty much what I've been getting consistently. Third and final test for today is going to be the Black Magic Disk Speed Test. So we're going to hit start. Now, while this is running, I'll give a quick explanation for this. Uh, this is a free app that you can find in the App Store. It works great. And what this does is it simulates the writing and the reading, and it gives you a score. So it lets you know basically how fast your disk is writing. Um, with the SSD that's being used in these MacBook Pros, you're going to get some of the fastest read and write times out there. And this is really going to improve your, you know, day-to-day -day functions of the, uh, the MacBook. So as you can see, um, on the right, we're getting around 760. And on the reading, we're getting around 1834. So just, you know, four years ago, this would be more like 180. But the fact that we've improved from a standard hard drive to an SSD uh, has really improved the overall read-write speeds of these hard drives. Uh, really impressive. This is going to give you a lot of real-world uh, benefits as far as restarting the computer, booting the computer, and jumping between apps. Uh, I'm just going to let this run for a little bit longer, but you can, guys can see it's pretty consistent with the different read-write speeds. Here we're up to 1100 and 1800, um, and it's just going to keep running these over and over and over again. Um, really impressive. Uh, Apple's done a great job with this SSD and the design. And this is going to go ahead and conclude our benchmarking test for the day. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Don't be shy. Hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more great videos like this, go ahead and feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys and have a great day.